in data management will primarily you know discuss about you know how do we deal with bulk data now of course if you have to go and create one record in the system you can go to the user interface click on new record and then there's a page opens up you you know enter all the details of the record record gets created or if you have to edit a record you can again you know go to a record and then you can um, click on the edit button and you can edit the record that's absolutely fine if you are dealing with one record at a time what if you're dealing with say thousands of records say 5000 or 10000 records that you need to create you have got a data from your uh, legacy system or you have got some data from a vendor you have procured some data you have to put that into the system are you still going to you know go through the user interface creating the records one by one one at a time the answer is no because it's time consuming and the, there is a huge scope of error so manually if i start entering the data it is going to take me a lot of time and then there there is a you know big possibility that i make a lot of errors right manual errors so for that reason it's not recommended that you do those things manually salesforce has got certain you know tools which will let you handle bulk data and perform those bulk data operations uh, to to you know easily uh, manage big chunks of data and you know process those be it insert or update or whatever operation it is okay so working with bulk data in salesforce that's the first thing that we're going to start uh, discussing here so we can perform the following mass data operations in salesforce so first of all let's understand <clears throat> what what type of mass data or bulk data operations we we want to perform or we can perform in salesforce uh, first is insert uh, insert is basically uh, the operation that will be used for creating new records in salesforce update this will be used for updating existing records in salesforce so if there are records already there in the salesforce you want to update some fields in those records that's where you will use an update operation upsert Upsert is a combination of insert and update. So this upsert actually takes this up part of it is coming from update and cert part of it is coming from insert. So you know this is kind of a combination of an insert and update operation. And why do we use it and where do we use this? This is primarily used when you are not sure whether whether you have to create the record or you have to update the record. Now why will this kind of a situation come this situation comes when you have some new data okay and you do not know if some of those records are already existing in the system or not right so we, what you can do you can do an absurd operation so absurd operation can actually check if the records are already there in the system it will update those records with any new values if the records are not there in the system then it will go ahead and create those records so in one single operation you can actually do both the things alternate ways for you to you know go ahead find those records update those records and then create those records which is going to be time consuming absurd can do both the activities in one operation it will search for the record if it finds the record it will update the record if it does not find the record it will go and create the record only thing is that you'll have to understand based on which field you want to check this okay so while performing an absurd important factor is based on which field we want to identify whether the record is there or not right you can be checking it based on uh, an email or you can be checking on based on some other you know field right so that is the thing so we'll talk more about absurd in some time then delete okay uh, this is basically bulk deletion of records or delete records from salesforce and moves the records to recycle bin okay a delete operation is basically something which deletes the records now when you delete a record in salesforce generally the records are not permanently deleted they are moved to the recycle bin so that's what this delete operation is going to do it is going to move it to the recycle bin hard delete hard delete is you know something which will permanently delete the records so in case you want to permanently delete certain records you do not want the records to be moved to the recycle bin then you should go ahead with a hard delete okay uh, all right what else export uh, export is uh, you know an you know operation which will let you take an extract of the records outside salesforce okay 
So this will basically let you export the records from Salesforce to a CSV file. Uh, and it usually does not include the records in the recycle bin. So for example, uh, I have got uh, 5000 account records and uh, there are 500 accounts in the recycle bin which i recently deleted so they are there in the recycle bin okay so this export will only export the actual records and not from the recycle bin the records which are in the recycle bin will not be included in the export okay this will only export the records from salesforce and it exports it in a csv file format so after the export is done you know you get the export in a csv file format okay uh recycle bin records will not be included there's another option called export all export all can you know uh, does the same thing okay uh, this also exports the records however this will include the re records from the recycle bin also got it so it exports all the records in the main object as well as the records sitting in the recycle bin so at any point of time where you feel that okay i have to export all the records including the ones in the recycle bin you should use export all and not the usual export and if you do not want the records from the recycle bin you should be using an export operation uh, transfer okay what is a transfer operation transfer operation is basically kind of an update operation only but i want you to understand or know this terminology transfer operation basically refers to transferring records from one owner to another owner so we have seen that you know usually records have got owners now what happens when you are uh, say when you're working you know in an organization and then there is a team there's one sales rep who has recently left and there's another sales rep who joined in his place okay now all the records from this earlier sales rep needs to be transferred to the new way right that's where you will be transferring the records from one owner to other owner now transfer is more of a terminology there is no such operation for transfer so usually in transfer uh, you know you we use an update operation so what are you going to do you are just going to update the owner field right so technically transfer is an update operation functionally i wanted you to know this terminology that's the reason why i just have included it here okay so these are the bulk data operations that you may be doing time to time that's all we'll discuss in this video thanks for watching for more videos in this series you can look for the link in description below or visit my website goodbye and take care